The most highly anticipated fight of the decade, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is now in jeopardy. Get this, your favorite boxing legend Mike Tyson suffered a medical emergency on the flight from Miami to Los Angeles, leading him to officially pull out from this mega fight. This bout might not be seeing the light of the day anytime soon. There's a lot to unravel with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this action. This fight has been making a lot of rounds on the internet ever since it was announced, so you can imagine the number of fans devastated and concerned after hearing about Mike's tragic incident during the flight. Before takeoff, Tyson appeared to be in good health and showed no signs of any trouble. A fan spotted the heavyweight legend who also confirmed that Mike seemed perfectly healthy as they were boarding and even took pictures. So it was just the journey that snuck up on Tyson. At first, it looked like it could have been ruled out as a normal headache. However, things escalated when Mike was later visited by paramedics, highlighting the seriousness of the situation. An eyewitness seated in the exit row described the incident, and according to her, everyone was asked to stay on the plane after landing so paramedics could enter. The stewardess mentioned it was for a very important passenger. So when the witness guessed it was Mike Tyson, the stewardess nodded in confirmation. And to add more to this drama, it is reported that before landing, the 57-year-old superstar was prompting the flight crew to inquire if there was a doctor on board to help him. Now this news was already making buzz in the fight world, and just when you thought it could not get any bigger, it did. Tyson's representatives reflected upon this misfortune in a statement to The Athletic. He became nauseous and dizzy due to an ulcer flare-up 30 minutes before landing. They also mentioned, he is appreciative to the medical staff that were there to help him. Let's not forget we're talking about a guy that is pushing 60. This isn't the same Mike Tyson who used to take people's heads off with his lethal left hook and that shifty peekaboo style. Tyson is old now and after the flight incident, it's not possible for him to fight anybody right now, let alone a young nine, one boxer. But hey, old and injured is what Jake Paul looks for in every opponent he steps into the ring with. That's why the problem child did not waste a single second before addressing that the fight is still on. He posted a tweet on the platform X, indicating the fight is on while also taking a few shots at his rival KSI. Famous YouTube star KSI posted a tweet raising concern for Mike's health, to which this Paul brother called him out for making stuff up. And regarding the status of the fight, the problem child stated, nothing has changed. First of all, we all can agree that no one is making anything up as Mike's representatives themselves talked about his severe medical emergency. Second of all, Jake Paul does not get to call the shots. He wants to step into the ring with an ill Mike Tyson, because that is his best and only shot at winning. There's a reason why he's so confident he can knock Iron Mike out and age plays a big role in that. I would win. Serious as a heart attack. I think he thinks that he would knock me out. And I think that is maybe the reason why he doesn't want to do the fight. Because I think he wants to avoid maybe knocking me out. He doesn't realize how good you exactly. are. Exactly. If he knew, maybe he would. Maybe the fight would happen. You think you can I, knock him out? Can I ask you a question? I think there's a very, Whoa, very good. high chance of that. <laughs> He's not the same fighter that he once was, and he knows that. Stop. However, there has been no confirmation from Mike's team regarding the fight's status. But knowing how important health is to Mike Tyson, especially at this age, he will not be fighting the problem child, Jake Paul. The boxing fans can't seem to hold back their tears on this one. This was a much-anticipated matchup. And let's be real for a minute, guys. We all want to see Jake Paul kiss the canvas and the only man who can get it done is the heavyweight powerhouse himself, Mike Tyson. This is the biggest fight of our generation. And who could you possibly replace Mike Tyson with as Paul's opponent? The only reason Netflix is involved in this mega fight is because of Iron Mike, not Jake Paul. This Paul brother can't even bring the quarter of eyeballs Tyson would to this fight. 
So this medical conundrum is not only a blow to the fans, but it's also bad for business. And if you want AT&T and Netflix to keep your pockets big and loaded, you gotta have Mike pick the gloves up for one final bang. Now, considering the risk of this fight being canceled, Mike's team has put out a word saying he is doing well. They also denied a rumor that was circulating. However, it's false reporting that his medical attention caused the flight delay. This two-hour delay was due to an air conditioning issue on the aircraft. Nevertheless, it doesn't take a big brain to understand that if a flight from Miami to LA can cause serious trouble to Tyson, then a boxing match should be far out of the question. One of the shining stars of boxing, Ryan Garcia offered to replace Mike Tyson as Paul's opponent. Garcia said, if Mike can't fight, I'll sub in. Ryan Garcia, also known as The Flash, is coming off a huge victory against Devin Haney. He sent the entire world into a frenzy when he put an end to Haney's hype train. So a lot would agree he's a credible opponent. But what he's not is old or injured, meaning Jake Paul would never dare to step into a ring with him. When it comes to Jake, it's all about cherry picking your opponents. And apart from that, let's just say the bag is too big for Mike to just let anybody slide in to take it. So we can cross Garcia versus Paul is out for now. And who knows, Mike's unwavering desire to knock the sparks out of Jake Paul might just overcome his medical shortcomings. It is clear as day that Mike Tyson wants to prove that after all these years sitting on the sidelines, he's still got that beast inside him that can take any boxer of today's generation into deep waters. If you're one to keep up with boxing news, I'm sure you've seen the Mike Tyson training clips. Day two, I'm getting ready for you. He's still got the power that could put anyone to sleep and not to mention that peekaboo style is just as deadly as it was back in the day. This is a guy who's putting his blood, sweat and tears into a fight at the age of 57. If you thought this was the end of it, you've got another thing coming at you. Did you know Iron Mike has temporarily given up the drug marijuana while training for the fight since it is banned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation? Yep, that's right. And guess what? There is more. He has also abstained from engaging in any sexual activities as part of his rigorous training regime. Mike Tyson is not just putting work in the gym, but he has changed his entire lifestyle just to dethrone Jake Paul. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that sounds like a man with a plan. But hey, not all plans seem to work now, do they? It is stated that Tyson's body hasn't fully adjusted to the abrupt changes he has made recently. The legend also revealed he hasn't smoked in six weeks, which is clearly a good thing. But for someone who's been smoking his entire life, quitting all of a sudden may cause your body to have unwanted reactions. And as a fighter, that's not something you want weeks before your fight, especially when you're up against a much younger and healthier fighter, a fighter who has now vowed to knock you out. Yep, that is right. The problem child has devious plans to not let Iron Mike hear the final bell. In a recent interview, Paul said, he has the opportunity to do the same and you know damn well he's going to finish me in embarrassing fashion and so I have to reciprocate that same energy, but Mike Tyson is a killer. He's ruthless. He's the most vicious champion ever. So I have to channel that Mike Tyson energy to finish him. Jake Paul is seriously trying to hype up a 57 year old man as a ruthless contender. Now, if that's not hilarious, then I don't know what is, but you still can't count Mike Tyson out yet. After all, he is the best ever. And let's not forget that Tyson told Paul in the press conference that Paul is suicidal for taking this fight. Now, if I were Jake Paul, I wouldn't dare to take those words lightly. The fans and even the pros are appreciative of the hard work Mike is putting in. He's setting an example that age does not matter. Or at least he was until a little medical hindrance took place during the flight. There has been an emotional outburst by the fans following this incident. The fans can't help but share their two cents on it, and X has been the primary platform for boxing fans to voice their concerns for Iron Mike. One of the fans stated, Just cancel the damn fight, man. I can't watch this legend get punched by a juice bottle. A second fan tweeted, Hopefully Mike is okay, but the fight is off and the Jake Paul circus moves on. 
it's good to see the fans concerned for Tyson's health. However, if the fight does happen, then it could go either way. It's gonna be one for the ages that's for certain. All you can do for now is pray that Mike's healthy enough to still be part of such a huge event. This fight is Mike's chance to make a statement. The whole world is gonna tune in to witness this battle. It's gonna be eight rounds of boxing madness, and that's if either one doesn't hit the floor earlier on. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.